Hey, what's up everybody? This is Seb de la Web and I'm back with another Flatsome tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to explain how to set up your custom product bubbles and your menu labels. If you're not familiar with this, uh, we are working on this amazing website and uh, while doing this, setting up these uh, custom uh, menu labels. I was also setting up these product bubbles and it's a nice way to highlight your promotions or to highlight products. Uh, it, we also use this as a kind of a design trick because as you can see, this website is fully black and white. And while uh, w once you're going to work with these kind of labels or these badges, it will really pop out and that can give you a little bit of a contrast that I personally really like uh, playing with. So, um, Let's start off with these menu items. If you're not familiar with the Flatsome documentation page, um, there's a, a documentation page on UX Teams where you can find more information also about these labels. Um, so here, I think it is the menu drop-down section. And if you scroll down, you can see a little bit of information about these custom labels. At the moment, Flatsome has are offering four labels by default. You have the sale, the hot, the popular, and the new label. I'm going to show you how to set this up right away. Um, I'm going to do this in my own Sep de la Web uh, website. Uh, for example, I'm going to highlight my product page back since one of, it's one of our best sold items. So it's good to, to emphasize this a little bit. Um, I'm going to WordPress. I'm going to Appearance, Menus because there is where I can find my menu. It's the main menu that I want to uh, add the tag to, or I want to add the tag to my main menu. Uh, opening up the product page pack, because that's the link, as you can see. Scrolling down, and here you can see a little box saying CSS classes. If you don't see this, make sure at the screen option settings, you uh, checked the CSS checkbox, uh, because that will display the CSS box here. Once you've done this, you can type in, and here you can also find on the Flatsome documentation page, those four that are available. So I can just uh, put in label new at the CSS class section, and by saving the menu, and then refreshing my page, you can see the new label has been added add to my product page link. So it's very easy. Uh, personally, I also... Like I said, I made a little piece of CSS shortcode that is available to even design it a little bit better. Uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you can uh, go to the description below and that will take you to this uh, tutorial page. Uh, this CSS code is available. Uh, you probably need to log in, so you need a separate web uh, account, but it's free. And once you've done this, you can uh, copy paste this CSS code. Um, so let's do that also. I'm going to explain you what I've done for you a little bit. Uh, here at Flatsome Advanced, I'm going to put in that CSS code. There are different places where you can put in CSS. This is just an easy way for me to show you guys uh, and explain you a little bit what I have done for you. So this is the CSS code. Maybe it, it confuses you a little bit, but it's quite easy what I've done. Um, so this uh, piece of code, it contains all the labels because in that way we can change it around and you know change it for all our labels generally so and then here down below we have the new the hot the sale and the custom bubble because i also want to show you how to set up the custom label uh here you can play around with with all these things if you want to have your label uppercase maybe you want to you know make the font size a little bit bigger maybe you don't want the font weight to be bolder i have um also uh, played around with a little bit more padding. The border radius should be the label be uh, have a rounded corner, the line height. So you can play around with these values. I'm going to save this already. That will already make a little bit difference because the Flatsome default settings, I personally think they can be improved. So now you can also see by refreshing this page, you can see the new label looks a little bit better. It's also bigger. It's also horizontally aligned with the with the links that I personally uh, prefer. So, like I said, now you can just play around. So if you think it's a little bit too big, change the font size to nine. Maybe you know make the the padding to four, and then save it again. And then you will see that it will be displayed a little bit smaller. So you can play around with these settings, these values. 
uh, and that's nice. Now it's you know since it's including all the labels, so the new, the hot, the sale, and the popular, you can change this uh, with one click. Uh, and here down below, you can you know change them around. So let's say the new should not be saying new. Maybe you have a different language. In Dutch, it's new. It's written down a little bit different. Save changes. And hopefully it's working. No, it's not working. <laughs> Maybe I need to um, I need to say that this should be important. Let's see if it's working. Then I will update the CSS as well. So now you can see it's saying new. So now you can override even the text of Flatsome default. I will update the text uh, CSS code so it will all say important. Um, so now I also wanted to show you how to set up the custom bubble. So let's say you want a, a, a bubble that isn't you know, connected to one of those four. You can also create a custom bubble by opening it up. And let's call this, for example, trendy. Label trendy. Save it up. And going to your CSS code. And here down below, I have already inserted a custom one. So just change custom to trendy. And here you can, you know, the content should be trendy saying, so that's the text that will be displayed. You can, you know, change the background color and you can change the normal color. I've set it up here uh, above so you can see what will be changed. So change the text, change the background color, change the text color. And this all counts for all those uh, three down below. Once you've done this, save it and it should work. It should now say, trendy here we go um the last thing that you need to do is you need to include trendy also in the above section so the custom should be trendy as well save and now when i refresh you can see it's saying nicely trendy so i'm just going to quickly show you how to add another one so you really get this in in your system so i will just copy paste this and I'm, go I'm going to say this is going to be a uh, tip. This is a tip. So first I will put in label tip menu. Then above here at the comma, that's the new one that needs to be copied. So this one, this section should be copied. Put a comma and then label trendy menu and it closes down after after. So now I'm going to change trendy into uh, I will change the text of the content also to tip, save it. Now I can make use of the tip class as well. Opening it up, changing trendy to tip, save. And there you go, now it's saying tip. And now you can play around with these values. And uh, I think now you know probably how to set up your custom labels and change all things around with all these values. Um, like I said in the beginning, I'm also going to quickly explain you how to set up these. And we are calling this product bubbles in the WooCommerce and the Flatsum settings uh, because there are some bubble styling possibilities, but you can also have square text, uh, square labels. Um, so let's say uh, one of our templates it should uh, be highlighted as well. So let's say, um, so I'm going to promote Adele. I'm going inside my product. And now I have two possibilities to show something. I can set it, set the sale price. So instead of regular, I will also have a sale price for now. I will offer it for $59. And now when I'm visiting the, uh, the actual product, you can see that there's a sale badge has been added. At the moment, it's showing a percentage because I'm going to show you the different uh, different options. Going to Flatsome, Theme Options, WooCommerce, Product Catalog, catalog in this case. I will also go to my uh, Product Catalog. Here we go. And then down below, scroll all the way down, you can find the settings for the bubble. So now it's having a round option, but you can also, like I said in the beginning, you can go for a square. And I was saying show a percentage instead of sale, but I'm going to uncheck this and then you can see it's saying sale. And you have even the option to change the custom sale bubble text to uh, 
say uh, discount. There you go. Personally, this could also, you know, use a little bit of styling, to be honest. It's missing down some padding. So I will add this also in the CSS code. If I see it like this, I don't really like it. Uh, but now you can see you can play around with these uh, discount badges. Um, I think um, I've said enough about the seal badge. I'm also going to show you the custom badge. So let's say we are having a seal, but we also want to say it's um it's a hot item for example i'm going inside my product for in this case adele scrolling down and here at the extra section you can add a custom bubble set it to be enabled and say hot or uh, let's say i will put it into hot date now when i'm visiting the page you can see two bubbles on top of each other I don't really like this uh, in terms of design. Uh, when I'm having a look on all our templates that we're selling, you can see there are two bubbles uh, placed on top of each other. Uh, in this case, I would prefer, prefer to go for square uh, labels, square badges, scrolling all the way down again. And instead of the round bubble style, I will go for square. And then it looks something like this, this I think, much better. Um, so that's how you set up. Oh, I'm also going to quickly show you how to change these colors. Uh, inside the Flatsome Team options, you can also go to Style, Colors. Scrolling all the way down, here you can find the new bubble. Um, uh, so this is a uh, thing when a product has been added to uh, as a new item. You can give it a color, um, but the custom bubble, here you can see if I make this orange, you can see that the hot item has been changed to orange and the seal bubble was already placed, put into red. But as you can see, if I change it to black, you can see it's been changing as well. So this is how you control your um, product bubbles. I'm going to change this, of course. Um, yeah, I think I've said enough. Hopefully this is useful for your project. Like I said, it looks really awesome when you integrate this well inside your product, you know, even Having these labels um, in your mobile menu, as you can see, it looks really nice. So thank you for watching. I see you in the next video. Good luck with your project. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can subscribe to my channel to, uh, to be update, updated when, we will, when I will launch a new video. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.